Hey, Moogles, what's going on? Can I call you Moogles? Is, does that offend you? Is that copyrighted by Final Fantasy? I don't know. Please don't sue me. Anyway, there is an update coming to MSL tomorrow. A uh, pretty big one, actually. Mainly has to do with golems and the Starstone boss. Uh, that's where the biggest change is happening. Apparently, we don't have information about the Water Shiva and Wood Nightmare changes. Yet, they said a few more will be getting changed as well, but we don't know about that, I guess. I'm gonna check before actually hitting the render button on this video and uh, add it to the end, I suppose, if we do get info on those changes, but we're gonna jump into what they gave us already. First of all, two new heroes will be coming, Sun Wukong and Samsung. Uh, probably that's gonna, uh, that's a San, San Sang, San Sang, I don't know, bad joke, my apologies, I just thought of Samsung when I, when, when, when I saw it, okay, moving on, god, stop. Cortana, how to be less cringy. Anyway, so yeah, those are both nat fives. I guess we will see. Sans will be another uh, Heroes Festival only Astromon like Balrona is. Balrona, I don't know. So you'll only be able to get it from Heroes Festival, which I guess will be starting on the 30th at 12 o'clock your local time. So just make sure before you start doing 10 plus ones that it is up. There'll usually be a little banner uh, in the special shop that says uh, this the event has started, so just make sure it says that before summoning. Because the first Heroes Festival, um, I noticed a lot of people were pulling before it was actually up for them, so to avoid wasting Astro Gems, basically, just make sure it's up. Like the last Heroes Festival, uh, you'll get a Heroic Egg if you summon a 5 star, so that's always cool. Sun Wukong will have his chances raised after Heroes Festival, so if you want to have more chance of getting Sun Wukong, you may want to wait until... But I don't know, I still think it's better to get potentially two nat fives for the price of one rather than uh, having Sun Wukong's chances slightly raised. There will also be a Heroes Festival package added which contains one festival ticket which I guess you can summon like a, a 10 plus one with it and 100 astrogems. It says it will be destroyed automatically after the festival ends so just make absolutely sure to use it. If you do plan to buy the package, not sure how expensive it's going to be. But uh, we'll see. Maybe if it's like five bucks, I'll buy one. I don't know if it's limited for one per account. It says, please refer to Heroes Festival package released notice for more info, but I'm not seeing that. Maybe I'm just coming a little bit too early to this. It says it was only released an hour ago. I'm going to try refreshing the page, see if there's uh, anything new here. No, not yet. But yeah, besides that, we'll also be having the Rebirth Festival at the same time. Uh, we can still get Thors, which is pretty cool, and something that's also cool is that 600 Astrogems we got for summoning 15 Thors is being reduced to 300 Astrogems, but at the same time, you only need to do 5 Rebirths now to get it. So for the same amount of Rebirths in Rebirth Festival, you are getting 900 Astrogems instead of 600, so actually you're getting more. Also they say here, uh, some Astrons will be balanced, please refer to the balancing pre-announcement notice for more info but I guess that's not up either right now. However, the Golem Dungeon and Starstone Dungeon bosses will also be balanced, and we can see that in this uh, post here. Also, some floors of Tower of Chaos as well. Also, what's kind of interesting is they're going to be having a random matching system in Astromon League starting at Diamond Tier 3. I'm not sure if that's something you have to do or if this is just an option to mix things up a little bit. We're going to check that out when the update does drop, so I'm going to be trying to climb there as fast as possible. Also, if you didn't happen to notice, I did drop my voice quite a bit. It's, uh, my throat is a bit scratchy today, so I'm trying not to scream too much. Also, Holy Gleams uh, will be added as additional rewards for champions. I guess champion just means the number one in uh, Astromon League at the end of the season. So cool for them, I guess. Gives them a little bit more incentive to really push and try and get number one. Of course, all the Pinolo stuff will be ending with this update as well, which is uh, welcome. I'm really sick of running into them every couple of runs. A cool improvement is that locked Astromons can be moved to storage without having to unlock them first, which was kind of weird in the first place. I mean, if you just wanted to store your like future projects and four stars in there and stuff, then you would have to unlock them first, and that's a little bit risky, because then you may accidentally release them when you take them back out, so yeah. Glad they can be locked still and go into storage. A couple of other little improvements here, I'll just show the picture. And we can also see here what's changing with the Golem Dungeon. Actually, the only Golem Dungeons that aren't changing are B5 and B10. 
As you can see, all the elements besides that are getting changed into something else. B7 through 9 will be all normal elements, no light or dark, wood, water, and fire, which to be honest does seem uh, more normal and better than uh, B8 being light. It is still kind of a shame to be honest because I was definitely running B8 the fastest, like a minute and a half or maybe even a little bit less sometimes, and now there's definitely no way I'll be able to run it that fast anymore, but this is good for like newer players because getting a decent water team or a fire team for the wood or a wood team for the water etc is a lot easier than trying to get a light or dark team for a light or dark boss because b7 through 9 now you can have a true elemental advantage and personally i think that's better all around it can hurt some players like me at least on b8 but i don't think it's a big deal you can inflict thirst and taunt on them now it says the resist will drop up to 50 percent so that's quite a lot however their hp will increase by 20 25% which is also a lot so damage focused teams will have slower slower runs I suppose it may be necessary to make different team comps to adjust to these changes also b6 can drop a uh, three to six star of all shapes which is also kind of cool for newer players uh, if they can do a b6 light boss now I'll be trying it with my alt uh, with, well yeah another kind of bad thing is that I just now uh, got my b9 team on my alt and now that's changing to water. If the B9 water is as easy as the B7 water was, then it shouldn't be an issue. I can just switch the teams around, but if it's harder because it's B9 instead of B7, then there might be a bit of an issue there. B8 fire should be easier to get a water team there than like a dark team for the light boss or whatnot. So yeah, that's the changes happening to golem. There's also some other stuff. Also, some of the skills on the golems will be changed. I'll show B1 through 5 here, but I'm not going to talk about them because I think B6 through B10 are more uh, interesting to more players. So these are skill changes for those little cubes floating on the right and left of the golem. Just reading through them all, I'm not sure how much of an impact this is going to have. I can't see anything here that would make it way harder or easier to be honest so I, I don't know I'm just gonna leave it at that I'm gonna have the image up here for a bit and uh, you can check it out yourself maybe there's something I missed in here but uh, it looks all uh, kind of like okay you know right guardian on b7 wood will have a shield for two turns so that can be annoying but uh, I've noticed the golem shields are pretty easy to break on like b10 and such so it shouldn't be too much of an issue but it looks like starstone and special elemental starstone dungeons are just getting a straight uh, nerf so they'll be easy easier because the boss level on b7 is going from 50 to 45 and the I guess the Ashram level is staying the same b8 can see a 10 level drop in the boss and a 5 level drop in the Ashram going up to b10 we can see a 20 level drop in the boss and a 15 level drop in the astromons so it looks like star stones will be getting a lot lot easier which is great for faster clears and lower level players tower of chaos we also see some changes here on floor 25 the hp and defense of dark lilith will slightly drop level 50 hp defense of water shiva will slightly drop level 60 attack of wood nix will slightly increase but her sp recovery rate will slightly drop which was the thing that that made her hard I think because she had her SP every single turn and defense will greatly drop so I think all around floor 60 will be a lot easier but yeah that's pretty much it uh, like I said if uh, there is more info before I actually hit the render button I'm going to uh, put that after my outro so stay tuned maybe there is something if not then I'll just put one of my awesome overwatch play of the games in there I have one for you guys it's pretty cool starting to get good with Reinhardt this has nothing to do with Monster Super League I'm sorry I'm gonna wrap it up now so yeah tell me what you guys think about the update coming in the comments down below I would like to hear what you guys think of it how are you going to adjust to the golem changes and will you be trying to make a new team that has thirst and or taunt implemented in it tell me all that good stuff down in the comments below also make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy I would really appreciate it thanks as always for watching and until next time. Well, actually, immediately after I finished recording, I was uh, sent a link to a Reddit post where they give us the Astromon balances. This may have been translated or I don't know, it's maybe on Facebook anywhere, but I didn't see it on their Facebook page. There are actually a lot of Astromons getting changed. I'm not sure if I shouldn't do this in a different video because uh, otherwise I'm just gonna have to quickly skim over them because after reading through it there are definitely some interesting ones so I think I'm gonna save
save that for another video a little bit later today instead of trying to cram it at the end of this one. But yeah, here's that play of the game I promised. Um, you can click off the video if you're not interested, you know, it's no problem. <laughs>